Hey guys, it's Icy New Year, and we are back with the Splunky Daily Run for 8-19-2013. Taking a look at yesterday's scores, um, I got 100,525, came in 274th place, which I'm super happy about. Like, that makes my day. Obviously, I topped all my friends here. Um, Nathan got to the temple, which is awesome. No one else got, all my friends just got past the, the mines. I remember I had died on the ice caves. I can't remember exactly how I died. I know it was dumb. Oh, it was that Yeti. <laughs> it was that trolly, trolly Yeti. Um, and then on today's challenge, I'm not liking the results I'm seeing from other people. I mean, that's there's the ones that like, on the surface, they seem easy to beat. But I'm wondering if there's some terror hiding in the mines that uh, I don't know about. I know um, Peter364 linked his uh, daily run in the IRC earlier. I loaded it up and immediately was like, what am I doing? Stop, 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 because I don't want to spoil it for myself. So I, I have no idea what's going on, but I do... Ooh, free compass. But it looks like people are having trouble in the mines. And that's as far of metagaming as I'm going to let myself go. I'm kind of feeling like there's probably... Um, if I know my friends list, like I, like I think I do... I have a feeling that there is a um, skin is crawling level fairly early on. Okay, let's do our little roll jump. Good to go. And I'm gonna grab this pot, see if I can piss off this spider up here. Perf, why am I even coming over here? I just wanted another chance to impale myself in this spikes, you know, just in case. Got lucky, well, didn't get lucky. I uh, actively aimed to jump on that skeleton. I'm getting better at remembering to check skeletons compulsively. There we go, pop up here, grab myself the damsel. Is any of this worth a bomb? Now that's the real question. Two pots and an emerald for a bomb or a ruby for a bomb. Neither of those really seem appealing to me. We're just gonna head on. I really think saving our resources is probably gonna be the best way to go. There is a big old spider here. Let's go ahead and make sure those don't come to life on me. So not a... Skin is crawling level yet, which I still feel like there's probably one coming. Just have a feeling. Let's take a peek. I can't remember what it looked like over on this side. Okay, nothing worth going over there for. Um, we will go down on this side, though. There we are. I find actually the spiders that are up there normally best just to leave alone. Ooh, that was a bad bomb. Nope, it did it. It did it. It did the job. I really thought it was going to fall off the web before it had a chance to uh, explode, which happens sometimes, and when it does, it sucks. Okay, so the Ujet Eye is on this level. Uh, I definitely want that, so let's just take a peek over here. I heard the damsel. I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is, I hope this doesn't piss off the shopkeeper. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad bomb. That was a real bad bomb. But that will allow us to bomb here, which should get us through. Okay, not where I need to be. That was dumb. This was a huge mismanagement of resources here. I want to make that very clear. Do not try this at home. On a positive note, at least we did get a good chunk of money. We're going to go ahead and buy probably that bomb box. Um, I really feel like 12 bombs, we can make some good things happen. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and buy the bomb box. As much as I hate spending the money, I feel like it will be a good investment in the long run. Oh my god, I might have to spend a rope to get my damsel back. I have paste already. Yep, we're gonna have to spend a rope to get the damsel back, which is super frustrating, because that was purely by my own stupidity. I should not have thrown the dog up there, but hey, hey. You win some, you lose some. And that time we played and we lost a rope. Um, We're gonna go ahead and burn a rope there, just for safety's sake. Peek over here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and buy one more bomb bag. I'm pretty happy, very comfortable on bombs now, and having good bombs just makes good play happen. Okay, that is not like a hard set rule, but I have found that, you know, having the resources av available definitely does help. Okay, go ahead and take care of that. Grab that gold, and we're going to jump on this guy's head again. Boink. I keep grabbing onto things with so, so frequently that for some reason I keep thinking I have the um, climbing gloves, and I definitely do not. But it feels like I have them, just with the frequency in which I'm grabbing into very odd angles. Okay, so we got our damsel. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be worth a bomb to go over there. I'm thinking no. 
so let's just go ahead and drop her off here and we'll call that one a day that'll do it for us move on to the next level of the mines um we have a decent amount of money there's a snake pit level okay so i seem to be completely wrong a snake pit level i am a huge fan of obviously okay that was another compass i believe that is the third compass i picked up um i can't find the exit any better than i already have so we're going to wait for this guy to get up and wait the frustratingly long amount of time it's going to take him to crawl there we go make sure that's not a skeleton and remember to do the same with this one up here which is a skeleton we took some dumb damage there but we do have a nice chunk of health i'm pretty comfortable with where we are uh, I'm gonna come back to that area, actually. Totally forgot I hadn't triggered those arrow traps. I had kind of assumed they had been triggered by the explosion. That was on me. That wasn't the game's fault. That was definitely my fault. Oh, okay. And then when I do go to check, it has already been triggered. Just to be sure. Better safe than sorry, right? Oh, right. The compass fell down there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop the bomb here. I keep acting as if I have the climbing gloves, and I very clearly do not. We're gonna work our way through here. There's a spider just hanging out here, ready to get us. But it's okay, he's gonna eat it right there. Up here, not too terribly much of interest. Um, we are gonna head out this way, though. In the hopes of getting some good stuff, making some good stuff happen over here. I'd like to get up there. It's going to cost me a rope. We'll go ahead and do it. I'm out of ropes, which makes me super uncomfortable. There we go. Oh my god. That was scary, but I think the money I'm going to find here should make the rope worth it. Now, this is, of course, assuming that that lack of a rope doesn't screw us. If, I'm a sh if I find a shop I that has ropes, I will 100% without a doubt buy them. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, grab the Matic. We have 50,000 gold. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I could go for a little more gold, but I actually feel like the ghost is about to come, so we're gonna head on out. Okay. Next level. Into the jungle. We got our kiss. Which brings us back above base health, at least. I mean, we, we took some really dumb damage there. And we threw that completely the wrong way, but that's fine. I mean, who, who's perfect? You know, who is perfect? The positive thing about this is with the Matic, we will most likely not have to spend bombs to find the black market, which I personally think is a great boon. Very happy about that. I think it's through here. No. Whoop, that was close. Now, we do need to be very careful about our downward movement because we do not have ropes to get back up. So we need to exhaust any possibility of where the black market could be up here before we go down. Oh, where is it? Grab some more money. Okay, this black market is actually a very frustrating one. I'm kind of feeling like maybe here? Make sure this chest doesn't hit us. No. Oh, there it is. I'm just blind. That was actually a fairly plainly obvious one. I just hope that doesn't kill our maiden. She is completely golden. We will take her for the bit of extra health. Grab the Matic. Um, and now here's the big question. Do we get the Ankh? I think we're going to base that entirely on what else is there. I definitely want climbing gloves. Um, if they have a jetpack, I will, of course, happily take the jetpack. Grab that gold. Oh, that fell straight down. That didn't, that didn't happen. No gold for us on that one. Let's see. We should be able to get down here and back up. Um, and break through and get these gems here. Bit of extra money. Never hurt it, nobody. In fact, before we go to the black market, it'll make our lives very happy. Is the best time to have extra money. Um, and yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much what we're going to call this level. Head on into the black market. And I know I had said in the episode fairly recently, let's go ahead and grab this sapphire, actually. I know I had said in an episode fairly recently that I was considering not going to the black market on dailies, just because it's a level where you can't, you don't get much gold. 
you know? But, um, I'm not sure. I still haven't really decided on that. Ooh. We'll immediately grab this sapphire. And I think what we're going to do is just look through, grab what we really want. Like that climbing glove there. Ooh. Let's see if we can get him to come over here. That was real dumb damage. Uh, and dumb damage makes me think I should probably get the Ankh. But, okay, they don't have a jetpack, so let's grab the climbing glove. We have the money left over. This is a huge gamble, but let's do it. We'll grab the Ankh. Huge gamble on our part there. We're gonna grab spike shoes. We're down to, like, no money. Um... But I'm gambling that the money we spent will allow us to make back what we spent and more. Now, of course, that all could have been completely nullified if I was, uh, man enough. Ugh, now I have to do it. Ooh. I just knew that Matic was gonna fly, and I wasn't sure what the best route to go was to get out of its, um, range of fire there. If I was man enough to kill shopkeepers, this wouldn't have been a question. I would have just stolen what I wanted. But I am not that man. I am not man enough. I am not a bad enough dude to save the president. It's just not me. It's not how I play. Oh, okay, some dumb damage there. Oh, I forgot I have spike shoes. Now I kind of regret taking them. Because I could have gotten a lot better. I could probably could have gotten an item out of that. Oh, God. That was some harrowing stuff. And I immediately took a lot of dumb damage on that part. Absolutely a ton of dumb damage. I'm really f afraid of this frog, so I want him to come down before I do. More dumb damage. And we are now in a very uncomfortable life position. I'm not fudging around with spikes no more. That ain't my thing now. That ain't how Icy do. As I believe the kids are saying these days. Oops. I want to go this way. Grab that money. Uh, the damsel's here. We don't have any ropes, actually. I was gonna say, maybe I should go back up and sacrifice her, but I don't have any ropes, and we are really low on health. So it's probably a much safer idea, a much better idea, since I'd have to, like, creatively bomb my way to the surface. I do have climbing gloves, which make it possible, but very unlikely, so we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna drop her off. We need the extra health anyway, and I am gonna spend a bomb to be able to see what's on the other side of this safely. Um... Absolutely nothing. So, I'm not glad I spent that bomb, but hey. You know what? Peace of mind. That's what we'll call it. Peace of mind. And let's see. We have a dead or restless level, which means we will get a uh, shotgun. This is another peace of mind bomb here. That first bomb was actually just a miss bomb. Which is uh, not a peace of mind bomb so much as just I'm dumb bomb. And I just said the word bomb many times. I was about to say, really? How many times is the compass going to drop on this run? There needs to be an upper limit on the number of compasses that can drop in a single run. That has been four opportunities for us to get a compass that we took advantage of on the first opportunity. Whoop. After all that, I threw the emerald all the way over here and have to go get it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Now, we are starting to build up the gold again, which is nice. Getting back into that possible, possibly hitting the leaderboards area of life. I'm really curious what percentage of people buy the Ankh on these runs, you know? That's a huge question for me. Now, if we can get that, it would be huge for us. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. This is an opportunity in this level, if I can find it, to get the shotgun and the cape... And a cape and climbing gloves, I'd feel pretty comfortable, actually. Uh, I right there probably just, yeah, I killed my damsel. Give myself some room to uh, get ready for him when he comes back. There we go. Free cape. And here's the ash grave, so we're going to go ahead and grab our shotgun. Almost jumped in the spikes there would have been very dumb. We're going to bring our shotgun over here. Leave it at the exit. I really wish I hadn't tossed the maiden into the spike trap. That... Okay, we're actually going to bomb that. 
We are running low on bombs, so these are going to be our last couple, like, belligerent bombs. That was to get that extra money. Grab that. The ghost, if we wait a second, will come from that side. Go on through, grab the shotgun, and call it a day. That skull, we needed. We needed that skull. That, like, put us back on the board. Um, and a cape in this level is huge. That's going to give us a lot of mobility. The climbing gloves, the cape, that's going to... That was almost huge sets of mistakes. Okay, he's dead. And I'm going to hope... Okay. Get a couple extra gems here. They don't all just go straight off the edge. Um, cool. Those are actually still accessible. Good to hear. Oh, and the first one. Go ahead and kill this guy. And this guy, just because he looked at us funny. I'd love to start robbing shopkeepers, but that's not something I feel comfortable doing yet. We have the pace so we can get this maiden. Maybe... We killed it. That was a mistake. That, I will admit, that was on me. Blow that up. Blow that up. Extra gem. And let's go ahead and head on back this way. Now, here's the question. Do we go for City of Gold? I mean... <clears throat> I don't have mini bombs so it's not, I don't feel like I can make the city gold like full like really really pay out for me like not as spectacularly spectacularly as the city of gold can but I mean would it be better to go there or would it be better to save the Ankh that is of course the big question uh I'm out of ropes so it's not like I can go back up there Unless I bomb here, then I guess I can get back up there a little bit. Nope, I actually kind of just screwed myself there. Nothing too bad. I mean, it's not like, oh no, my run is over screwed. Oh, I can just go up this way. Though I probably should have left the shotgun. More bombs. Very, very happy to get more bombs. Uh, and I think we're going to... Actually, go ahead and take care of that guy. Drop our shot. Oop, get down there. I don't think... Oh, you know, yeah. Okay, drop the shotgun. We're going to go grab the dog. And we're going to float gingerly to the exit. Picking up our shotgun. Oh, from the bouncy pad. And heading on out. So, Perfect. Moving on. Now, do we kill ourselves in the Ozymandias statue? Yes. Yes, we do. I'm making that investment, and we're going to do it. Okay, that was a bad... That was scary. I almost pooped myself. In fact, I might have pooped myself a little, but I am a trooper. I'm here for your entertainment, and I will deal with my uh, male, uh, my adult incontinence uh, at a later time. When you guys are when I'm not on your time. I'll deal with that on my time. Okay, so we're gonna head over this way. Uh Ozymandias statue is on this level. Uh I'll very much miss the shotgun. I will. Don't get me wrong there. I'm gonna miss the shotgun. It has been a great friend of mine. But I think I'm gonna kill myself. I did not mean that to come out as dark as it did. I mean in the game, I'm going to kill myself. But first, of course, we will grab our Maiden. Because I wouldn't mind having an extra health waiting for us on the other side of the afterlife. The amount of ropes I do not have is very concerning. It's far more concerning than the amount of ropes that I do have, which is none. Go ahead and kill him. We're just going to check around for any extra gold we happen to miss. Because uh, with 20 bombs, if I can get to the City of Gold... I will be super happy. Now, I probably won't go for the Necronomicon. I don't trust myself enough for that. Okay, I meant to just fall straight to my death, but if I want to take some uh, damage there, cool. I, um... I don't want to go for the Necronomicon, so I'm probably going to use a good bit of my bombs just mining gold in the City of Gold. If I get there, of course, that is... 
That is, of course, the question of the for the ages, if I get there. There we go. Kill that man very quickly. This is the last Ice Caves level. So if I can get through here, basically what I need to do is I have to get through here. And then I have to... There we go, got that gem. Killed that man. That alien man. Oh, I can't get that. Darn it. Ooh. One bomb is worth the extra health at this point. So we'll pay one bomb. I'm actually going... There weren't any aliens up here, but I couldn't remember if there were anything else. There we go. Drop her off fairly quickly. Get a crate. Another 12 bombs. 31 bombs. I can make stuff happen in City of Gold. Assuming, of course, I get there. That is, of course, the, co the huge caveat to all this. To make anything happen in the City of Gold. I mean, it probably goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. I do have to get to the City of Gold. Um, this is an interesting proposition. The idol would make my day absolutely, and it actually should be pretty easy to get because I have the cape. So we're going to go ahead and get that, and then we're going to call it, get out of the ice caves, and head on into the Temple of Hell. We're in Indiana Jones our way through there. <clears throat> 92,000? Yeah. I'm happy with 92,000, especially considering how that we bought the Ankh. Got two bombs on him immediately, which is fantastic. Just wait for those little buggers to go away. Now, here's the big question. Yeah, we can get that and also blow up the thwomp at the same time. And I'm going to do... Oh, we didn't blow up the thwomp. He's taken care of. Is he going to come back up? Yes. Yes, he is. Okay, so now this is really a matter of I want to get out of here as soon as possible. I don't want to dick around these levels. I mean, if there's some super easy gold, like that, I'll take it. I, I saw that happening. I saw that coming, but I didn't e even know what to do to fix it. Uh, an easy crate here. I will take that. And we're going to hide back here. Grab another two rubies. Two rubies for one bomb is about the best you could ask for. That's fantastic. And we're leaving. <coughs> Four of those fire guys decided to punch me in the butt. I don't want to get butt punched by a fire guy right now. We have the hedget. We have the staff. We have the city of gold. Uh, we're going to leave immediately, actually. We're just going to skip through that level. Probably not the smartest decision, but I really think I can make the city of gold pay off. So we're going to go ahead and blow that up. Mainly, and first time I've gotten to the City Gold, by the way. Oops. That was badly, badly placed. And the main reason I blew that up, as opposed to just pushing it, is I definitely wanted to get those fireflies. They're worth an absurd amount. Uh, we're going to poke around a little bit. I mean, we can't just get to the City of Gold and, like, rush the exit. That's messed up. There is a Firefly over there. They are worth a ridiculous amount of gold. And I want more than anything to have them in my life. There we go. Kill that Thwomp, which luckily is made of gold. We have 30... We had 31 bombs coming in here, so we'd be completely amiss to not abuse that fact. That is a Tiki Trap. I actually did not realize it at first. City Gold is kind of, uh, kind of creepy. Kind of hard to keep track of everything. Now, we do still have to worry about the ghosts, so we're going to be kind of hurrying ourselves up a little bit here. Uh, I want to get this maiden. Uh, I most likely am not going to be going for... Actually, yeah, I'll go for that. Worth it. And I actually can probably get him... Oh, nope. I was hoping he'd trigger the air traps. I forgot I have spike shoes, and it just makes him explode. Because I'm a terrible man, and I just explode things. Um, I know I should be going for the, ne the Necronomicon and should be trying to do a hell run here, but that's just not my style. Okay, let's be honest. I'm terrified. Okay, so that's one of them down. They have obviously set off that spike trap or that arrow trap. So that's a ton of gold there. <clears throat> 
I have no problem blowing that up because not only does it make it safe, we also get a chunk of gold for it. Drop that off and blow that up. Grab some gold that's been littering the ground down here. Casanova. Two achievements unlocked on a daily challenge. I'm pretty happy about that. Now, we are running out of time. Like, it has to be very close to the ghost coming. So I'm going to kind of, like, be just sticking close here. I'm going to use, like, let's say two more bombs. And know that those swamps are coming. Okay, now it is time to leave. We didn't use all the bombs, but we did get two more fireflies. I'm super happy. 225,000 gold. Hell yeah. And we go back into the temple, and we fight Olmec on a daily challenge. This is only the second time I've ever fought Olmec. The first time I'll be uploading uh, either later tonight or tomorrow. And it was a super fun fight. I really enjoyed it. First things first, let's go up. Because if we die in the Olmec fight, I want to die with as much gold as possible. Though I don't really see us die, and I have 17 bombs without touching the crates up here. Which is absurd. Um, so we're going to pop up here, pop a bomb. With my luck, though, a live bomb up here would kill me without me noticing that's what it was. I kind of wish I had gone for the Necronomicon. Though, to be fair, I, like, had jumped down... And, like, when I jumped down, that's when I was like, oh, I should go for the Necronomicon. And I was like, oh, I don't have any ropes. I can't get back up. Which is going to make the Olmec fight a little trickier. I need to remember that. I actually would very... Like, I would really like one of these crates to pay out with ropes. Uh, of course, that didn't happen. But, hey. You can't always get what you want. Um, Let's go up here. And we're going to just grab these last bits of gems. Sorry about the min-max in here. Okay, I don't think I can... Ah, that was a bad bomb. I was hoping I could just, like, put it underneath and grab those gems from above. We got a little bit of gold. We'll call that our consolation prize. We're gonna get Olmec to come over here. And hang out with us, Mr. Golden Face Buddy. Okay, just one more jump for me, Olmecky. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, buddy. One more. And I'm just going to run away from him, and hopefully that will trigger his... Thank God. Thank God for Spike Shoes. Hopefully that should trigger his, like, just sit there mode. And we're going to bomb our way down. I have the climbing gloves. Oh, I have six ropes. When the hell did I get ropes? I guess one of those uh, crates did have ropes, and I just didn't even notice. GG, I see. GG. I'm loving this little tiny bits of gold here. You're not going to hear a complaint out of me. Might as well grab that emerald there well the, the game says no no emerald for you I see this ruby I get you uh, part of me wants to go for this crate but that's just really pointless and dumb so we're just gonna go ahead and a couple more bombs here sadly That was putting myself in a much more dangerous position than I needed to be in. We're actually going to go ahead and bomb here to make this a little bit easier to get him in. I mean, why not? Right? Why not? Wait till he jumps. Oh. And Olmec has been defeated. Um, The rest of my bombs, I got five more. I'm going to use these... Up in the top, actually. There were some rubies. And we're going to go ahead and grab these. Uh, check one more time for rubies. I'm pretty sure I saw, like, another ruby or two up here. Um, just trying to maximize our bomb use here. I can never remember which are worth more except for the rubies. I know the rubies are the most, but other than that, I have no idea. Like, there's an emerald worth more than a sapphire, you know? Okay, go across this way. I know I dropped a ruby over here. Oh, there it is. It's not to say I know I dropped one down. We have two more bombs to use, and then we'll stop dirt dicking around, and we'll go ahead and get out of here. There's another ruby here. I would be a miss not to take. And that will be our last get for the game. Though I did almost kill myself trying to get that last ruby. 
And uh, there we go, guys. Daily challenge complete. And also my very first time beating Splunky. New character unlocked. Jaguar man got an achievement. Got a giant, got an Iron Man. I got like four achievements on that run. My best run of all time. And it was on a daily challenge. I'm ridiculously happy. Got myself that giant ass idol. I wonder how much that's going to be worth. Final score. 303,000. 300. Ooh, is our 50,000. 353,050. I feel like I'm going to rank pretty high in this one. You will be remembered as a hero. I know I will be. Mm. Guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.